Hey everybody, welcome back to the Weekly Weed Watch. Uh, this week what I want to do, as promised, is I want to move on to some summer annual weeds. So what I want to start off with is a weed that uh, I'm uh, fairly familiar with. It's a weed I've dealt with since pretty much day one of my weed science career. And it's a weed that many of you are probably dealing with as well. Whether you're in Kentucky, many of our Kentucky farmers deal with it. Uh, or really if you're raising any agronomic crop in the Midwest or North Central region, uh, or even in Canada, uh, we know this weed exists so let's go ahead and go check it out okay guys so our weekly weed is water hemp okay and like i said uh, this is a weed that's pretty versatile um exists across many environments within north america uh let's just do a little bit of quick id here okay so let's go ahead and start off looking at some pretty small weeds here you can see the cotyledons there the, the egg shaped uh uh, cotyledons there and then as you start to get leaves put onto those a uh, little bit bigger plants there you can see uh, again the oval to uh, elongated to lanceolate shaped leaves on those and as you get bigger uh, you get those uh, more of those true uh, lanceolate shaped leaves there is like we're seeing on this plant right here those really long skinny lanceolate shaped leaves um, now just for general pigweed id uh, usually the first thing we look for is hairs if it's hairless in kentucky uh, a hairless pigweed is going to tell you you're dealing with water hemp or palmer and then you need to look at the petiole length and so with water hemp that petiole is going to remain fairly short whereas palmer is going to have a longer petiole and the key there is look at the lower leaves uh, don't look at the upper leaves but rather the lower leaves for that petiole length okay so um, after we've kind of ID'd it, uh, some of the things that make uh, water hemp uh, problematic, um, you know, the, the first thing is here, we, we've got uh, water hemp here that's anywhere from, um, you know, coming up to an inch tall, all the way up to about two inches tall. Uh, this water hemp really started emerging in about April and uh, now you can we do have some two inch tall water hemp and this is going to continue to emerge that's kind of the problem as we get into May June July even August and September we'll have water hemp emerging as long as the canopy is open and as long as sunlight is breaching the ground uh, this weed will continue to emerge so that makes it very problematic so we're just now even with this uh, really extreme flush we have in this field uh, we're just getting started with emergence on this uh, this is really just the first true flush and then the the other thing is it's rapid growth rate so uh, really this field we need to be out here in the next week um, uh, again we do have some two inch tall water hemp out here which tells us we need to be out here pretty quickly once this stiff reach about reaches about four inches and we start getting some heat on it in late May and June it will continue to grow uh, at that rate of about an inch a day so that can make it very problematic uh, just that rapid growth rate and uh, that's why uh, getting to it timely is very critical and very key um, some other things is uh, the the prolific seed production you can see this field obviously uh, had a lot of seed put back on it uh, but even just letting one plant go back to seed uh, wouldn't let one plant go in the field that's a lot of seed you know a half a million seeds per plant is a lot of seed going back onto that field so uh, a very prolific seed production and then the other thing is obviously uh, herbicide resistance so we know we have lots of herbicide resistant weeds out there and so uh, with that uh, you know water hemp no matter what we throw at it, uh, it it seems to be able to become resistant to about any side of action that we use against it so makes it extremely problematic so that is our weekly weed we do have some resources for water hemp and palmer uh, I'll put those in the comments as well as at the end of this uh, video uh, so check those out uh, gives you a little bit on control of these weeds as well as identification so thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next week.